You are watching Morning Coffee News episode Thursday, December 30th, 2010, 12, 10. An American aid worker was released Wednesday from Haiti's notoriously overcrowded National Penitentiary after authorities apparently cleared him of allegations that he kidnapped an infant from a hospital where he worked as a volunteer. Reuters, Canadian nationals will have to pay as much as $1,000 in visa fees to travel to the United Arab Emirates from next month, the latest development in a diplomatic row over landing rights. Time.com the death of Venezuela's disgraced former president should be a cautionary tale for the country's elite as well as for the current president. But no one seems to be learning any lessons. Free Darko's Bethlehem Scholes, a regular contributor to NBA Fan House and co-author of the Undisputed Guide to Pro Basketball History, visit the Free Darko store, too, is keeping a game-by-game -game diary of the Heat season, the one you're pretending not to care about. With Christmas just around the corner, it's time to share a few of the stories you folks sent in about your various holiday party failures. Let's go. Reuters, Bon Jovi may have recently been snubbed by the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but the veteran band still ended the year as the world's top concert attraction, according to a trade publication. Oh my god! Los Angeles, Caliph, the race to the 2011 Oscars is officially on. Nomination ballots for the 83rd Academy Awards were mailed to the 5,755 voting members of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences on Monday. Oh my God! Billy Taylor, the noted jazz pianist and educator who enjoyed tremendous success on television, has died. He was 89. Taylor died Tuesday of heart failure in New York, his daughter, Kim Taylor Thompson, told the New York Times. See other celebrities who died this year. A longtime fixture on television unlike many of his contemporaries, Taylor served as cultural correspondent on CBS News Sunday morning and was the first African American to lead a talk show band when he was bandleader for The David Frost Show from 1969 to 72. Domestic box office revenues for 2010 won't quite hit last year's record-setting haul, but they'll be awfully close. That was all for Morning Coffee News episode Thursday, December 30th, 2010, 12, 10, 42, Indonesia, Jakarta. Thank you for using News Anchor.